Hi guys, so this is a video about the area of a triangle. So you can see the formula that's in here anyway, it's base times height divided by two. So what we've got to do is we've got to multiply the base by the height and then divide it by two. So uh, I'll just show you first of all why this formula works basically. You'll know that with a rectangle, if I had something like eight centimeters, and four centimeters like that you would find the area of what's inside from just multiplying the two numbers so multiplying the length by the width so eight times four eight times four is 30. if i was to divide that rectangle in half though and then i was to ask you what would be the area of half of that rectangle well the obvious thing is to just divide the answer by 2 from what the area of the whole thing was. So 32 divided by 2 is 16. So that's kind of like a kind of where the formula for area of a triangle comes from. That's why we divide by 2. It's because every single triangle is actually half of a rectangle. So uh, let's look at the example up here. In the example, we, the height of the triangle is 17. And the base of it is 10. So if I'm just to use this formula here, base times height divided by 2, if I just use that straight away, it'll just give me the answer. So base times height divided by 2. So it would just be 17 multiplied by 10 and then divide by 2. So 17 multiplied by 10 would be 170 divided by 2. And then um, the answer is going to be 85. So 85 centimeters squared. Area is always in something squared, centimeter squared in this case. But um, just to explain why that formula works again is because if I was to draw out a full rectangle there uh, with those dimensions from the triangle. So there we have now we have a full rectangle. And the area of that rectangle would be 17 times 10. But again, we can see that really it's half of that rectangle. So it's 17 times 10 divided by 2. So you don't really need to understand why and all about the rectangle there, but uh, that just why the formula works. So really the main thing you have to remember for area of a triangle is base times height divided by 2. Uh, it also says here uh, where B and H are right angles to each other. So where the base and the height are at right angles to each other. So that's important. The base and the height must uh, make a right angle with each other in order for the formula to work. So you'll see here the 17 centimeters up the side and the 10 centimeters across the bottom. They are at right angles to each other. Uh, so here's two questions you can attempt yourself. You'll see here that the three and the eight, they are at right angles to each other. They would form a right angle bit there, basically. So the base of the triangle along the bottom is eight and the height of it going up is, just use the formula. If you want to pause the video there now and just try it and then play it on and I'll correct it for you. So the first one is three multiplied by eight and divide by two. So three multiplied by eight is 24 and then divide that by 2 is 12. So 12 centimeters squared. That's the area of that triangle. And uh, I know it's harder to see here, but that would really make a, a rectangle that's twice the size of it. So the space that's missing here is actually the same, or the area that's that I'm shading in here in the red is actually the same area as what's inside the rectangle. It's always Every triangle it makes is basically half of a rectangle in area. Question two here, it actually gives you three dimensions. But well, remember what it, what we said over here, there's actually one of them in here just that's there to confuse you. Remember what we said here, we said that uh, where the base and the height are at right angles to each other. So the base and the height here must be at right angles to each other. So. Uh, what you should be able to see is that the 4 isn't at a right angle to anything. It's making an acute angle there with the 6 on the bottom. And it's making an acute angle with 2 going up really as well with the height. But you should be able to see anyway that the 2 is the height of that triangle. The 6 is the base because it's along the bottom. And then it goes up 2 centimeters. So we're going to do 6 multiplied by 2 
and then divide by 2. So 6 multiplied by 2 is 12, and then divide by 2 is 6 centimeters squared.